In this video, you will learn how to add vectors using the component method. Here's a sample question. Add the following vectors. Vector A, 7 meters, 30 degrees north of east. Vector B, 5 meters south. Vector C, 10 meters, 40 degrees east of south. So if we want to add these three vectors, we can add them graphically using a ruler and a protractor, but you've already learned that that doesn't always give you the most precise result. There's always going to be some sort of error. Your result is going to be different from someone else's result just because of the way you sketch it and because of the human error which is involved. So a better method is to use um, our understanding of trigonometry. So what, the very first step you should do is sketch the addition graphically to get an idea of what R will be approximately. So you still have to understand the graphical method of addition just to jump start the component method of, ad of addition. The component method, by the way, is also known as the analytical method. So what I've done here is I've sketched all three vectors in order, A plus B plus C. So A vector plus B vector plus C vector so th this is the origin, and that's the final position. So the overall displacement is represented by the red arrow. I've drawn in coordinate axes to help me determine what the angles are. Again, this is only a rough sketch. To give us an idea what R will look like, we can see that in this case, R is expected to be a rather large number. It's expected to be greater than any of these numbers here. And we expect to find the answer in quadrant 4. So that's the advantage of sketching it ahead of time because it'll give you an idea if you did it correctly in the end. So in step 2, sketch each vector alone and resolve into components. Or calculate the components. So A is 8 meters long and we know it's um, uh, 30 degrees north of the east line. So we'll draw the AX like this and AY there. It's important that you sketch the, the vectors alone so that way you can identify exactly where that angle is because you're going to have to make some decisions using SOHCAHTOA. So AX is 7 cosine 30. The reason I pick cosine is that I recognize that AX is adjacent to the angle. Drawing the picture, or the sketch, helps us figure that out. AY is 7 sine 30, that's equal to 3.5. Please check this on your calculator to see if you're going to get, if you get the same answers that I get. That's very important. B is straight down due south, so it has no X component to it. So BX is equal to 0. Now we draw this due south, and that tells us that, oh, B is in the negative direction, so we have to slip that negative in. So again, sketching this is very valuable. It tells us more information than we would um, necessarily get by just looking at the original information. So C places us in the fourth quadrant. That means that CY is going to be a negative uh, number, and CX will end up being positive. So CX is 10 sine 40. X is sine because the X component is opposite the angle. And CY is cosine because CY is adjacent to the angle. And we have to, these two values. And we put in the negative in front of 7.7 .7 because CY is in the negative direction. So now that we've calculated all the components, we need to organize them. So step three, calculate the sum of the components. To organize, I recommend drawing a table. Table has columns for X and Y values. And then we have rows, one row for uh, vector A, one for B and C, and then calculating the sum. So transfer the answers that you calculated earlier into the table. Add up all the X's and we get 12.5. Add up all the y's, and we get negative 9.2. So these are the uh, sum of the x's. Sum of the x is 12.5. All the x's added together, and all of the y's added together is the sum of the y's. 
Now the sum of the x and sum of the y's, these are the x and y components of r. We're trying to find out the value of r. So in step four, what we're going to do is we're going to pythagorize the sum of the x and the sum of the y to get the value for r. Now remember, sum of the x and sum of the y, those are the components that describe r. And since the, those components are at a right angle to one another, we can draw this right angle triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what is the value of r. Now, r is a vector, so we also have to include an angle. Vectors include magnitude and direction. So we'll use the tan function and use the opposite and the adjacent, 12.5 divided by negative 9.2, and we'll end up getting a negative 54 degrees. Now the negative right there is ambiguous because the negative tells us that the angle is either in quadrant four, two or four, but we don't know which one. That's why it was important for us to sketch that original diagram at the beginning to figure out that R is in fact in quadrant four. So that means that R is 15.5 meters, 54 degrees, east of south. Add a little degree symbol there, please. Now lastly, I just wanted to compare the original sketch that you did for the graphical method of adding vectors to what we did using the Pythagorean uh, theorem in the end. So uh, graphically we took a plus b plus c and we were able to figure out that vector r lies in quadrant 4. And we also said that, vec that R is going to be a larger number than A, B, or C. We figured that out. So it gives us a rough idea uh, of what to expect. Now, when we took all the components and added them together, I have a summary here. We, we figured out the AX is 6.1, B is 0, C is 6.4, and that adds up to 12.5. Visually, what that looks like that 12.5, which is over here, half of this is because of AX, and half of that is because of CX. Remember, BX was equal to zero, so it didn't matter. If we look at the Y, the sum of the Y, we have uh, AY was positive 3.5 plus a negative 5 went down, and a negative 7.7, .7, that went down also, and numerically we got negative 9.2. Now, graphically speaking, if we look at this right here, what is that equal to? Why did we get that particular magnitude? That's because AY was positive 3.5, BY was in a negative direction, and CY was in a negative direction. If you take those three numbers, add them together, you get negative 9.2. So that just give you, it gives you another uh, way of looking at vector addition.